Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in the last few minutes former NHS nurse Lucy Letby has been found guilty of the attempted murder of a premature baby girl following a retrial. The 34 year old was convicted by a jury at Manchester Crown Court of attempting to murder a child referred to as Baby K. Now you will remember of course that last August she was convicted of seven murders and six attempted murders of babies at the Chemtess of Chester Hospital between June 2015 and June 2016. Now, at the trial, Lucy Letby was alleged to have tried to murder a baby less than two hours after she was born. And in this video, I'm just going to talk about a couple of things that are going to fall out as a result of this verdict of guilty. And I'm also briefly going to go through the elements of the offence of attempted murder, because it's ever so slightly different from the offence of murder. Welcome to my channel, Andy on Crime, where I talk about high profile criminal cases in England and Wales and other aspects of criminal law. So I'm just going to firstly talk about the offence of attempted murder and I have done a previous video on why attempted murder is actually harder to prove than murder itself. Now the elements of the offence of murder are the unlawful killing of another human being with the intention to kill or cause really serious harm to that person. Now the offence of attempted murder as the name suggests means that the person has not actually carried out the murder, the person has not died. So the offence of attempted murder is doing an act which is more than merely preparatory to the commission of the actual offence and in the case of attempted murder the person must intend to kill that person so whereas with murder you can attempt to kill or cause really serious harm for attempted murder you have to intend to kill that person which is why in some criminal cases it can be harder to prove attempted murder and occasionally the CPS the Crown Prosecution Service may charge grievous bodily harm with intent which has got slightly less for them to prove. The next thing I want to talk about is the appeal that Lucy Letby put in against her original convictions, the seven murders and the six attempted murders, which was refused by the Court of Appeal. Now, the judgment in that case has been withheld as a result of this retrial, so as not to prejudice the trial. What will now happen is that the full judgment outlining, firstly, the grounds of appeal by Lucy Letby, which are not actually known at the moment, they'll be released, and the reasons for the rejection of her appeal will also be released by the Court of Appeal. Now another interesting thing, and I've seen this in quite a few comments to some of the videos that I've done on Lucy Letby, is that there is an argument being put forward that she had defective counsel, i.e. her counsel was incompetent, and that's one of the reasons why her conviction was unsafe. And what's really interesting is that she had the same defence counsel in this trial as she had for her previous trials. Now if Lucy Letby thought that her counsel were not representing her properly, then she could have sacked them and got them replaced with someone else. So it's quite interesting the fact that she has not decided to get rid of the counsel that she had in her previous trials and has had the same one throughout. And the final thing I want to talk about is the likely sentence. Now this is actually really difficult to determine what it's going to be. She's currently subject to a whole life order which means that she will never be released from prison. So in effect any sentence that she is given going forward will make no material difference to her time in prison. As it stands subject to any appeal she will spend the rest of her life in prison. But you would expect given the other sentences in this case that she will receive a further whole life order. Even though this is a case of attempted murder you can be sentenced as if you'd actually committed the murder. So I would expect to see a further whole life order. But in practical terms it will make no difference. She is not going to be released subject to any appeal. What do you think about this case? Please let me know in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this video, then please do give it a like. And if you'd like to see more from me, then please do subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Take care.